Hi everybody, Laura here for Honeybee Stamps. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun project to share with you. I'm mixing some of the new products that just came out along with a couple of older ones. We got some geometric mixed with florals. And I'm gonna start with the Mod A2 cover plate Honeycut, which is a gorgeous geometric cover plate. I'm gonna die cut it into some white cardstock. So I take it off camera, die cut it, and you have this beautiful geometric cover plate. I'm going to pop this up and I'm going to use some of these pre-cut double-sided foam strips. It makes it very easy peasy. Just a little bit along the border, couple in the middle so you don't have any sagging. Now if you don't want to go to all this trouble, you certainly don't have to pop it up or you could die cut a couple of these panels and stack them up. But I just love the shadow. So I, I pop this up onto a cream card base. And something about that neutral on a neutral just gets me out of bed in the morning. Okay, for a sentiment, I'm using the U Buzzword Honeycuts. You get a couple of different fonts. I went with the straight classic, no nonsense U. So I have the smaller letters and also the larger backer. So I'm gonna do each letter in a different color. And I have these three shades of warm tone, solid color cardstock that I thought paired very nicely with the cream and white background. And then for the backer shadow word, I have vellum. And now you can see how when you die cut all these letters, they, they're loose. And But I wanna make sure I get them evenly spaced and aligned properly. So I'm gonna keep that vellum panel, pop my letters back in it while it's flipped over. I take some of this easy see-through tape, any tape you have, post-it tape, but this easy see-through really is handy. Flip it back over. I am gonna pop these letters up onto the vellum, you know, because dimension is life. Um, you don't have to, you certainly do not have to. Uh, I just like, I'm, I'm an addict to it, obviously. <laughs> okay, more of that easy see-through tape. I'm gonna tape the front and I'm gonna flip over and take off that tape. And then I'll remove the outer vellum die cut panel and then now my die cut sentiment is ready to go. It's aligned, evenly spaced. I can move it around the card, see where I wanna put it. And now I decided to add a little floral accent. So I took this Lovely Layers Anemone Honeycut set. Now there are three blooms that you can layer up, but today I'm only gonna use two of the bloom die cuts and I'm gonna use them with gold. I have some glitter gold cardstock and a little bit of matte gold cardstock. And the two together, to me, just said Shazam. So when you wanna add a little something else, but you don't wanna add any more color, gold is always a great option. And it also goes to show with all the lovely layers, you know how you can really layer them up, but you can also, you, you don't have to use all the layers. You can keep it simpler. Just use a couple of the layers. I'm not even gonna add the center to the anemone. I'm keeping it very simple. I die cut a few green leaves just to tuck behind. I'm using some of that honeybee glue tube to glue my matte gold layer onto the glitter gold layer. So this bloom is very simple, but I like it. I was digging it. And I think the gold looks great on that neutral geometric background. A little dab more of glue and uh, popping that off to the side. And then I'll put a little glue and tuck in the leaves. A little bit of greenery always adds. A little adds a little something. Tuck those leaves in. It's all about the tuck. And then I'm gonna pop up my U right in the center. So I'm gonna add a little bit more foam tape. This time I added very thin foam tape. I have a few different foam tapes and this is my thinnest one. So this card doesn't get out of hand with the layers. And then you can line it up easily, take off that see-through tape, and then I'm gonna go ahead and emboss a coordinating sentiment from the U buzzword. Uh, there's lots of great coordinating sentiments that you can put with the U die cut letters. So this one says, you are the best. And I decided to emboss this in white onto a slate gray. Most of the time when I add a coordinating emboss sentiment, I do white on black, always white on black. But when I wanna keep it subtle, or maybe when I wanna just spice it up, I do white on slate gray, just another option. And that's how you spice it up. And I'm feeling some springy, freshy vibes from this card. We're buried in snow here in Illinois. And I'll, let me tell you, Hank, 
our dog, Hank the Tank, he loves the snow. He loves it. He'll go, I let him out. He begs to go out. I let him in. He just lays. He just lays in the snow. He eats the snow and he just loves it. He doesn't get cold at all. And um, I don't know. He's a winter loving dog. I guess his, his dad's Canadian. What can I say? Okay, now I'm zhuzhing. It's all about the zhuzh. Zhuzh it like your life depended on. And I add a few uh, sparkling clear sequins and this card is finished. What do you think? I like all the, I like the geometric background with the gold floral and then the colorful sentiment. Uh, hey, you are the best. You can send this one to anyone, anytime. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.